These men, a generation apart, both believe they've been poisoned by radiation from nuclear tests carried out by the British government. Veteran John Morris was stationed on Christmas Island in the South Pacific in the 1950s. I was there for four atomic bombs. The nearest was 20 miles away. And I had a pair of shorts, a shirt on and sunglasses. And it was like sitting in the centre of the sun. John developed anemia and was later diagnosed with cancer, like many others he served with. He went on to have children, but his son died when he was a baby. John believes it's all because of radiation and says his medical records from the time should show this. I know for a fact that I had urine and blood samples taken and they are not recorded, but the MOD suggests they were never taken. Steve Peirce was born with a series of disabilities. His father, David, ran an airfield in Australia where nuclear weapons tests were carried out. Steve has been trying to get hold of his dad's medical files. I had an email just this week from the RAF um, saying, yes, the MOD search has found the information you require, but no, you can't have him. And they're quoting some law about confidentiality. What are they hiding? It's as if they know that what Dad was exposed to probably caused my condition and they just don't want me to have him. In order to find out what really happened to his father, he's launching legal action along with veterans and other relatives. In a statement, the Ministry of Defence said it remains the case that no information is withheld from veterans and any medical record taken either before, during or after participation in the UK nuclear weapons tests are held in individual military medical records in the government's archives, which can be accessed on request. But that's not the experience of those like John and David. They are demanding answers to improve their own medical care, but also to show genetic risks their loved ones might be exposed to. Becky Cottrell, Sky News.